Good morning. Um, today is Saturday and we are heading out to a convention. It's called Armageddon. I've never been to a convention before, neither of you. Um, so it's interesting. We're going to go see what it's like. Um, there's a couple of pretty famous people going. John Barrowman's going. The woman that plays... What's she called? I can't think what her name is. But the um, alien girl with the antler, the antennae in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, she's going to be there. But yes, so basically we're just heading out. Um, we're going to go see what it's like. Catching the train down. We'll probably be there for a couple of hours. And I'm going to go meet Tom Felton, which I'm really excited about. I love Harry Potter, so this is going to be really cool for me. So yeah, we should probably get going though. The train's at 20 past and it's now 10 o'clock. Hi, hi. dressed up which was really nice to see. I didn't think there would be that many but there were some super cool costumes. I got to sit on the Iron Throne which was amazing and we met Tom Felton which was actually really cool. We both sort of assumed it was going to be like pass your item on, you'll quickly sign it and then like that's it you're done. Get, you like he'll hand it back to you and say hi. But he came out and he like ran across the front row so yeah, as I was saying, basically we actually got there pretty early. I wanted to get there for one because I wanted to make sure that, you know, we'd actually get seen pretty early on. Because I feel like if you're doing it for two hours after a while, it's just sort of going to become like really boring. So I wanted to get there fairly, fairly early um, and we ended up being right at the front. <laughs> we were the second people to see him and he was really nice. He demanded to be able to do personalized messages because Apparently they weren't allowed to and yeah he asked us about ourselves and we had a little conversation like I'm talking small but it wasn't just a here's your thing back nice to meet you bye <laughs> so yeah I got him to sign my mischief managed book that my auntie got me for either my birthday or Christmas I don't remember so yeah it was pretty cool so yeah, we're going to head back to the train station and then probably just chill out for the rest of the day. So see you guys later. Good morning. So it is actually Monday. Um, today is Labor Day for New Zealand, which means it's a bank holiday for me and I don't have to go to work. Three day weekend is always great. So we've decided basically that we want to make cornflake cakes today, because why not? Though we've tidied up the flat, we had a proper clean, we've had a shower. Um, and now we're gonna head down to Countdown and get some, get some stuff. So let's do this. Okay. 
So we have just had some lunch um, and now we're going to make the chocolate flake. Oh, I can't, I keep calling them cupcakes and they're not, they're corn, what are they? They're just cornflake cakes. That's it, cornflake cakes. Yeah. So we got a giant slab of dairy milk. It's pretty big. So it should last us. We can maybe make some more for work or something if we, I don't know. As you can tell, the shop was open. The shop was open. We also got some popcorn because we're going to finish off watching the first three Star Wars films tonight. <laughs> Sam's never seen them before. And we started watching the first two Ages ago. Back, like at least probably five months ago, if not oh, longer. Yeah, much longer than that. So <laughs> we uh, we're finally going to finish off the first three. So Liana, what ingredients do we need? Chocolate and cornflakes. Okay, so going off the recipe that Sam's found, apparently it takes ten minutes to prep, five minutes to cook. Its difficulty is easy, and it makes twelve cakes. Oh, I like the fact. Oh my god. Okay, for the method, it's got children, what the children do, and what the grown-ups do. Oh, can I be the child? What do the children do? Weigh out the ingredients. Older children can do this by themselves with supervision, and little ones can help pour or spoon the ingredients into the weighing scales. We don't have any scales. Okay, let's get this going. So we need 100 grams of chocolate, and we have a 350 bar. Just take about a third, it'll be fine. That's half. Oh no, that's pretty good. So ballers, that's what your subscribers are called. Right. A top child tip. Make sure you've got everything ready before you start. Yeah. So you don't have to dig through the cupboards whilst you're cooking. Also promoted by Jamie Oliver and it's 15 minute builds. Definitely not. Maybe we should turn it down a bit. I did. Maybe yeah, you got the wrong one to do that. Yeah, no. It's all going wrong, kids. Second try. <laughs> Stop laughing. So tell me what happened, Liana. Tell everyone. Tell the ballers what happened. This is first attempt. Stop. <laughs> that does have a conflict in that moment. Liana got frustrated with that, so she cast it aside, decided we didn't need butter, and this is second attempt. <laughs> so what's going to happen now, Liana? We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again, and we're going to follow the instructions to, like, the point, and we're going to have everything ready. Because last time we didn't have the boiler. Boiler? Boiler warning. Well, it just says to do it in a saucepan. Yeah, no, we're still going to try and do it, are we? That's not following it to the T. <laughs> Ingredients wise. Third time's a charm, the other. Don't hug the chocolate. It's too cold to be melted. Should be at room temperature. Bear of us whilst we set up again. Hmm? So what's going on now? Okay, so we've got the butter melting a bit first before we put the chocolate in, which I've got ready. We can probably put in now, actually. Yeah? I think so. So do you want to swap places? Yeah, we're going to swap places. <laughs> So how long they got going for? Indeterminate time. As long as they need. Don't 
so we've been chilling for a long time um, actually so we're gonna go see what the conflict cakes turned out like I might want to have a look at that chocolate as well So there they are, in all their glory. They're a bit sticky, actually. There's maybe too much honey in them. They taste good. They still don't feel like they've, like, I don't know, gone hard, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, but I think that's when you get them properly, they have other ingredients in them more than what that is. Mm -hmm, probably. They're also very messy. But they taste good. Good.